Get your merch at bitterbettypodcast.com. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we are going to do something a little different. Uh, most of y'all know that the U.S. debate happened a couple of days ago and all three of us got in discord and kind of watched it together so that was fun um but we wanted to go over some highlights of the debate and if people are still on the fence maybe we can help i don't know i mean it it was i don't know i'm not gonna give that away if y'all haven't seen it yet but <laughs> uh ladies y'all have anything to add well, uh, I mean, this I watched has all been a journey so. for me. <laughs> oh. oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. I, I think I'm lagging a bit, so I think it's, oh, like, okay. catching. So, sorry, I was given a lag and an over overlap, so I apologize in advance. Um, so, uh, for me, um, I've always been, during this whole debacle <laughs> to me, because it is a debacle to me um, because I'm still, I'm just at 46 years old um, trying to understand um, politics. I never cared to understand it very much um, until I have discovered that things are really affecting my life that I've seen happen um, in the last pretty much four years. Um, I'm trying to uh, decide on where I would go as far as voting. Um, I've always typically voted blue. Um, so if that doesn't let you know that I'm usually very liberal leaning um, and more towards the Democrat uh, party um, for the majority of my life. So, um, but for a lot of my life I voted um, blue just because, well, that's what I was basically programmed to do. So um, I've kind of, trying to desensitize myself to um, a lot of the gaslighting that's happened in my life to believe one way and do certain things. And so uh, I kind of become, you know, learning in my own voice and saying, hey, I don't like that. So um, we'll see where we are, because I also have a very deep rooted dislike for Donald Trump. So uh, that, that that's where we are. Just this little education on me before we get started. Okay. Um, and uh yeah. Did you did you end up well, watching the whole debate? I did not watch the whole debate. I had enough about forty three minutes in. <laughs> so. Oh wait, that's most of the debate though. Oh, oh but I could right, right, it like an right hour. At the end. <laughs> uh, oh. I don't know how long it was. No. I don't either. It was entertaining as hell though. It was. It was very entertaining. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> But isn't it always with these two? <laughs> My no. favorite part is when they started talking about their uh, uh, golf handicaps. Well, no, even oh, funnier. That's golf in here. Even... That's in I here, did... by the way. That's Let's in here. I, handicap, like I um, I, I did browse it a little bit before I said that this because we were trying to find some good highlights, and I didn't want it just to be one sided highlights. I wanted it to be a little bit of everything. So I did kind of browse it a bit. Yeah. So, but I haven't. I mean. I watched the debate, so I guess it doesn't matter for me, but this isn't something that we're, like, okay. reacting to. But, all right, you ladies ready to get this yeah. party yeah, started? Yeah, let's get it going. Yeah. President Biden, let's, you would be 86 at the end of your second term. How do you address concerns about your capability to handle the toughest job in the world well into your 80s? Well, first of all, I spent half my career being being criticized being the youngest person in politics. I was the second youngest person ever elected to the United States Senate, and now I'm the oldest. This guy's three years younger and a lot less competent. Former President Trump, to follow up, you would be 82 at attack. the end of your second term. What do you say to voters who have concerns about your capabilities to serve? Well, I took two tests, cognitive tests. I aced them, both of them, as you know. It's, we made it public. He took none. I'd like to see him take one, just one, <laughs> a real easy one. Like like, go through the first five questions, he couldn't do it. But I took two cognitive tests. I took physical exams every year. And, you know, we knock on wood wherever we may have wood that I'm in very good health. I just won two club championships, not even senior. Two regular club championships. To do that, you have to be 
quite smart, <laughs> yeah. and you have to be able to hit the ball a long way. And I do it. He doesn't do it. He can't hit a ball 50 yards. He challenged me to a golf match. He can't hit a ball 50 yards. Uh, I think I'm in very good shape. I feel that I'm as in good a shape That's as I was insult, 25, 30 years ago. Actually, I'm probably a little bit lighter, but I'm in as good a shape <laughs> as I was uh, years ago. I feel very good. I feel the same. But I took. I was willing to take a cognitive test. And you know what? If I didn't do well, I aced him. We'd be able to right wipe out his debt. We'd be able to help make sure that all those things we need to do, child care, elder care, making sure that we continue to strengthen our health care system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if, we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. <laughs> President Trump? What? Where was he right. He going? did beat Medicare. He beat it Pause to it. death, and he's destroying Medicare. I'm sorry. He did do a damn th I was laughing too hard. I'm Pause sorry. It. <sighs> okay. Okay. All right. We finally right. beat Medicare. All right. Okay. Okay. Listen. Listen, Linda. Listen. What the fuck did he just say? What was the point? Of what I don't know. And I am not he here. Just, they beat. I think he meant to say we beat COVID. He said we beat <laughs> Medicare. <laughs> I, but I don't know what that had to do with the price of tea in China, to be honest. <laughs> I'm, okay. And so at some point, I had to quit watching because I literally felt bad for the man. It wasn't even like a. Yeah. Like, you know, he's just some bumbling buffoon. But, like, literally, I feel like the man has got, like, medical issues. I think he's got that, dementia. Uh, like, cognitively, something is going on. And so I, I feel bad for, for him. You know, I felt bad watching this. Um, and I felt, I also felt like, though, that Trump really did keep his composure and not be very... Trump-esque about how to have done things. Yeah, I, so, do, um, I think you're right. I'll tell you a minute. Go ahead. Sorry. So, I, I just I just was watching this debate and if I'm like, if I'm going by just this debate, okay, I'm gonna have to pick the man in the red top because he's the only one that still seems like he's with it up there in his brain. But I want to know why can't I anybody in their late seventies running for the president of the goddamn United States? Why does it have to be two old fuckers that I got to choose between? That is my irritation as American people. Okay, that's my irritation. Yeah. But anyway, but sorry, I had to be so box. I'm done. All the young smart people don't want the damn job. That's the problem. Well, only um, we need a Gen X in that bitch. Older gentleman. I don't I'm just know. saying. Like, can we at least? I mean, at least can we go down to Gen X? Like, come on. Yeah, yeah Gen Damn. X. Okay, I thought you right. said Gen That's Z. I, said. I thought you said Gen Z. My brain went to oh, Z. Oh no! I was like, no, they're Very too young. Gen Z no. I trust. Uh, yeah, yeah Gen X would be no. all right. Gen Z, I but trust, yeah. no. But Trump does have it. He still has his his mind. Um, and I think that. I think somebody's actually. I, I think the the them turning off the mics and doing it the way they did helped because um, they weren't talking over one another and Trump couldn't butt in and do the thing that he likes to do. <laughs> um, and then, but but so Biden I, he started the debate and he attacked right away. So and for Trump to, I mean, he did take a swing back, but like. It was, but we're. I think we're fixing to get to that. I don't know. Did we get to that? I think I don't know. But yeah, he's. This is. Um, it's a circus. <laughs> I mean, okay. yeah. It. Whew. All right. Back to it. We're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with with the COVID. Excuse me with. Um, dealing with everything we have to do with uh look if we finally beat medicare
Today, you, Junior. Uh, Biden, President. T -t Today, Junior. President Trump. Well, he's right. He did cool beat thing. Medicare. He beat it to death, and he's destroying Medicare. He did do a damn thing, and these people should be in jail, and they should be the ones who are being held accountable. And he wants to let them all out. And now he says if he loses again, such a whiner that he is, that it could be a bloodbath. On January 6th, we had a great border. Nobody coming through, very few. On January 6th, we were energy independent. On January 6th, we had the lowest taxes ever. We had the lowest regulations ever. On January 6th, we were respected all over the world. All over the world, we were respected. And then he comes in, and we're now laughed at. We're like a bunch of stupid people. That what happened to the United States' reputation under this man's leadership is horrible. Will you pledge tonight that once all legal challenges have been exhausted, that you will accept the results of this election, regardless of who wins, and you will say right now that political violence in any form is unacceptable. Well, I shouldn't have to say that, but of course I believe that. It's totally unacceptable. And if you would see my statements that I made on Twitter at the time, and also my statement that I made in the Rose Garden, you would say it's one of the strongest statements you've ever seen. In addition to the speech I made, in front of, <laughs> I believe, the largest crowd I've ever spoken to, and I will tell you, so nobody ever talks about that. They talk about a relatively small number of people that went to the Capitol. And in many cases, were ushered system, in by the like, police. Oh and as Nancy Pelosi said, it was her responsibility, not mine. She said that loud and clear. But the answer oh, is, uh, if the election is fair, free, and I want that more than anybody. And I'll tell you something. I wish he was a great president, because I wouldn't be here right now. I'd be at one of my many places enjoying myself. I wouldn't be under indictment, because I wouldn't have been his political appointment, you know, op opponent, because he indicted me because I was his opponent. Russia would have never attacked if president I were president. Trump, the question was, will you accept the will results of the election, regardless of who wins? Yes or no, please. If it's a fair and legal and good election, good absolutely. I would have much rather accepted these, but the, the fraud and everything else was ridiculous. And if you want, we'll have a news conference on it in a week, or we'll have another one of these on a, in a week. But I so will lost. absolutely, there's nothing I'd rather do. It would be much easier for me to do that than I'm running again. I wasn't really going to run until I saw the horrible job he did. He looking at? He's destroying our country. I would be very happy to be someplace else in a nice location someplace. And again, no indictments, no political opponent stuff, because it's the only way he thinks he can win. But unfortunately, it's driven up my numbers and driven them up to a very high level because the people understand it. Well, let's see what your numbers are when this election is over. Let's see. Let's see. You're a whiner. When you lost the first time, you, you continued, you appealed and appealed to courts all across the country. Not one single court in America said any of your claims had any merit, state or local, none. But you continue to provoke this some lie have now. about somehow there's all this misrepresentation, all this stealing. There is no evidence of that at all. And I tell you what, I doubt whether you'll accept it because you're such a whiner. The idea, if you lose again, you accept anything, you can't stand the loss. Why is he calling him a whiner? How old is he? Time. The only person on oh, this stage is a convicted felon, this <laughs> man I'm looking at right now. And the fact of the matter is, he is in, he's, what he's telling you is simply not true. The fact is that there was no effort on his part to stop what was going on up on Capitol Hill. And all those people, every one of those who were convicted, deserves to be convicted. Like so many politicians, this man is I... just a complainer. He said, we want to do this, we want to do that, we want to get rid of this tax, that tax. But he doesn't do anything. He doesn't do, all he does is make our country unsafe by allowing millions and millions of people to pour in. This was his dream. I talked to him about it, his dream. The difference is he never would have invaded Ukraine, never. Just like Israel would have never been invaded in a million years by Hamas. You know why? Because Iran was broke with me. I wouldn't let anybody do business with them. They ran out of money. They were broke. They had no money for Hamas. They had no money for anything, no money for terror. That's why you had no terror at all during my administration. This place, the whole world is blowing up under him. The only one who wants the war to continue is Hamas, number one. They're the only ones standing out. We're still pushing hard from, to get them to accept. 
Israel's the one that wants to go. He said the only one that wants to keep going is Hamas. Actually, Israel is the one. And you should let him go and let him finish the job. He doesn't want to do it. He's become like a Palestinian. But they don't like him because he's a very bad Palestinian. He's a weak one. <laughs> our veterans are on the street. They're dying because he doesn't care about our veterans. He doesn't care. He doesn't like the military at all. And he doesn't care about our veterans. Nobody been worse. I had the highest approval rating for veterans taking care of the VA. He has the worst. He's gotten rid of all the things that I approved. Joyce, that I got through Congress. All of the different things I approved, they abandoned. We had by far the highest, and now it's down in less than half because he's done all these great things that we did. And I think he did it just because I approved it, which is crazy. But he has killed so many people at our border by Thank allowing you, all of these people to come in. President and it's Biden. a very sad day in America. President Biden, you have the mic. Every single thing he said is a lie. Every single one. For example, veterans oh, are a hell of a lot better true. off since I passed the PACT Act. One million of them now have insurance and their families have it. Their families have it because what happened, whether it was Agent Orange or burn pits, they're all being covered now. And he opposed, his group opposed that. We're also in a situation where we have great respect for veterans. My, spent, my son spent a year in Iraq, living one next to one of those burn pits, came back with stage four glioblastoma. I was recently in, in, in uh, France for D-Day, and I spoke to all about those heroes that died. I went to the World War II cemetery, World War I cemetery he refused to go to. He was standing with his four-star general, and he told me, he said, I don't want to go in there because they're a bunch of losers and suckers. My son was not a loser, was not a sucker. You're the sucker. You're the loser. Uh, first of all, that was a made-up quote, suckers and losers. They made it up. It was in a third-rate magazine that's failing, like many of these magazines. Uh, he made that up. He put it in commercials. We've notified him. We had 19 people that said I didn't say it. And think of this. Who would say I'm at a cemetery or I'm talking about our veterans? Because nobody's taken better care. I'm so glad this came up and he brought it up. There's nobody that's taken better care of our soldiers than I have. To think that I would, in front of generals and others, say suckers and losers. We have 19 people that said it was never said by me. It was made up by him, just like Russia, Russia, Russia was made up, just like the 51 intelligence agents are made up. Just like the new thing with the 16 economists are talking, it's the same thing. 51 intelligence agents said that the laptop was Russia disinformation. It wasn't. That came from his son, Hunter. It wasn't Russia disinformation. He made up the suckers and losers, so he should apologize to me right now. I support Roe v. Wade, which had three trimesters. The first time is between the woman and the doctor. Second time is between the doctor the and an extreme Trump situation. The, the third time that was is between a, uh, the I was doctor. I mean, be between the, the woman and the state. The idea that the politicians, the, the, that the founders wanted the politicians to be the ones making decisions about women's health is ridiculous. He can take the life of the baby in the ninth I month like the part they left and out. even after birth, <laughs> because some raped, states, uh, Democrat raped, run, involved, involved. take it after birth. Again, <laughs> yeah, the governor, real. former governor of Virginia, Put the baby down, then we decide what to do with it. So he's in, he's willing to, as we say, rip the baby out of the womb in the ninth month and kill the baby. Nobody wants that to happen, Democrat or Republican. Nobody wants it to happen. That is simply not true. The Roe v. Wade does not provide for that. That's not the circumstance. Only if a woman's life is in danger, she's going to die. That's the only circumstance in which that can happen. But we are not for late-term abortion, period, period, period. We well, have an six economy that allow it up to the moment of birth. The so badly handled. Many people were dying. All he said was, it's not that serious. Just inject a little bleach into your arm. You'll be all right. The economy collapsed. There were no jobs. Unemployment rate rose to 15%. It was terrible. And so what we had to do is try to put things back together again. And that's exactly what we began to do. We created 15,000 new jobs. <clears throat> we brought out in a when? position where we have 800,000 yeah. new manufacturing jobs. But there's more to be done. There's more to be done. Working class people are still in trouble. We have the greatest economy in the history of our country. Uh, we have never done so well. Every, everybody was amazed by it. Other countries were copying us. We got hit with COVID. And when we did, we spent the money necessary so we wouldn't end up in a Great Depression, the likes of which we had in 1929. I feel like there was a lot missing from that, though. 
Well, not only there's a lot, but there's also oh, yeah. like. And um, where does this leave I think us it here, was. Women? I watched a video recently. I wonder if it's in my history. Um, they actually had debunked uh, a lot of shit Biden said. Like the yeah. numbers he said were wrong. Yeah, because when we watched um, it, we watched it through that that one thing that he was sitting there doing fact checks after fact checks after fact checks. Well, it's like, because he said he inherited 15% inflation or some shit like that, or I can't remember what it was, but it was only like, it was like 2 or 4%, and like, I, it just the numbers were all wrong. Um, but, I don't know. But yeah, a lot, I like, a, yeah, Biden, Biden got caught in quite a few lies. So, uh... And, and my thing is, is thing. was it so? Oh, sorry. Um, my thing is uh, what I'm curious about because we say that, like, what, uh, again, I'm going back to uh, uh, of me thinking that Biden just unwell, right? Like, so mm -hmm. if you are not cognitively there or aware, then your facts are not going to be correct, right? Because you're not going to recall correctly. So, um, yeah. You know, I think that I, I look at, I'm just like, I, I don't know how to like, I just feel bad for him. Like, I just feel bad for him. Well, yeah. And, and I think that's and, why I had to quit watching. Well, the thing is, is when it comes to these debates, though, they're, they're trying to make the other one look bad so that they can win. You know, that's really what it boils down to. And, but the thing is, is, before Biden was the president, he would always say how horrible Trump did whenever Trump didn't do horrible. Actually, we had one of the best economies we've had in a long time through Trump. And I think that's a something massive to look at. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just like a lot of the stuff Trump says is true. Like he says it in a way that irritates people, I think. But what he says is facts. Like there was no new wars under Trump. He um, we we were we were like not we were energy independent and like turning profit for the first time. Uh, and, you know, the uh, low income communities were actually starting to grow. Like unemployment was at an all time low because of his opportunity zones like you know, Biden tried to say, like, he tried to knock Trump for, like, his tax cuts, but people don't understand what a lot of the tax cuts were, like, tax breaks were for. Um, tax cuts for the middle class, but also for big corporations that oh, that got a better, like, tax break if you opened up in low-income low areas. And that way, you would bring in jobs and income into the, those communities. Like, and that is a way to grow communities. By giving incentives to these places to start helping building up, like build it up and make it nicer and provide, um, you know, so like to me, that's not like that's not a knock, it, it just depends on the way he frames stuff. But, uh, but I mean, there's been a lot of like even CNN was fact checking Biden, like <laughs> it was pretty bad, but a lot of people think they did it on purpose that they want they embarrassed him like that on purpose. Because they want to replace him. Yeah, I've Either, heard like Newsom, but and that Newsom or Michelle Obama. But I don't like Newsom has a lower rating than he than Biden does, and and Kamala is even lower too. So like Michelle Obama would be the only way it would have a chance because hers yeah. from before is so high. I was thinking Michelle Obama, and I I did hear the Kam Kamala uh, Harris one as well. But I've heard Kamala since the beginning, like la last time we voted four years ago. Yeah, but she, people dislike her more than they dislike Biden. So yeah, I, and I, don't I think agree they'll with go that. with her because yeah. they don't have a shot. Yeah, uh, because she didn't do anything, you know. So well, she's been know. caught. She's been caught in a lot of lies as well, and a lot of scandals. <clears throat> and that's you know that's one of the the things is like what like. What was the point of that? Like, to me, Biden got embarrassed. Like, just on the fact that he doesn't sound mentally well. Like, he... Yes. He, he sounds freaking old. He looks old. He looks confused. Um, Trump clearly is the more, co like, cognizant one of all of the two. But, like, what was the point of that? Like, because they did not do themselves any favors. So, to me, it makes sense that they would want to replace him, but... Who is going to be the question? 
when was the last time that was done yeah and 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 that and that's the thing like you know where i would stand right like okay so right now clearly not going to be biden right i'm not going to do that I, i'm just not going Warners. to my dad before he died had dementia i feel like i'd be voting for my mm -hmm. dad to run the oh that i wouldn't right. be doing that he he couldn't run the house nonetheless the country so well, um, i mean have you and so i rk jr still running huh you know, do what I don't know a whole lot of i said rfk jr is still running i thought yeah i heard that i heard some people say that's who they're voting for and i know i know i heard the young turks they uh they're definitely liberal like a liberal kind of like a tim cast irl but on the liberal side the young turks uh and they were saying like they want another option other than biden they would prefer like rfk they would get behind you know what i mean so it's like because rfk is really he's like what i like to call a jfk liberal you know what i mean he's a little bit more old school like there's i don't agree with him on everything and he's a little bit of consp conspiracy theorist but like be he's definitely than more center he's more center than like the progressives are right because right. he's just like an old school liberal um so like that would be something for people to maybe consider you know what i mean because it's like it, i mean i i know that trump could fix things but he might not be the only one who can fix things right, right. so i mean everybody should explore every opportunity like every possible candidate because the pool is small i would say to make one, sure we pick the best candidate to fix right things. i will say one thing about trump though and it's and i'm not saying he's the only one that can do it though but like Trump's a businessman. He's always been a businessman. Our country needs to be ran like a business because we're in so much debt. Uh, and the, uh, he, Trump sucks at well, when I he think... comes to, to, the, to talking at certain points, but uh, he proved that he can. He can do it. He can. And he did get us out yeah. of many times where we could have been went to war with people. So, like. Well, and that's the thing. He's. Uh he has proven that he can do it so that's right. why i'm definitely like at this point unless a better option comes along like right now i will be voting for trump 100 percent. like no doubts in my mind i i know he can fix things so okay if you presented me a different option that could do the same cool but that but you're absolutely right it has to be run like a business like i don't really need him to necessarily be nice i just need him to fix shit Right. You no, know, and I need America to be strong and protected and feared in a sense because, you know, that's how you keep people from attacking you. And with all this war stuff going on, like I have, it's a, a lot of it is because America appears so weak right now, and our military is weak mm -hmm. right now. And he did, he did get. People are not lining up to join. He got Kim Jong Un to, to stuff his ass down from us, and he went and actually. Yeah, I'm just there saying, like, it's to talk to him, and, and there's, there's not reason, one person. There's not a president in a long time who's ever went over there to talk to him like that. Well, and there's, there's, I mean, there's a reason that Russia didn't attack Ukraine until Biden became president. Oh, yeah. You know, no. There's a reason Hamas did not attack Israel while Trump was president. It's not just because of the timing. It's because of mm -hmm. literally what's going on right now. And now we might find ourselves in World War Three. Like, hopefully see, we can make it to November and get Biden out of office and then... That they did not show on the highlights that it. I wish they would have because it's something that I still think about whenever they were debating about the, the, the World War Three and Trump said something about, you pick him, we're going to World War Three and then Biden's like, well, you want World War Three And I'm like, what? <laughs> That's not what he yeah, said. Yeah, no, it's... No, but like... I mean, but we're dangerously close to it. Like... Biden approved uh, Ukraine to use American weapons to attack Russia, and now Russia is basically saying that uh, Amer like they're going to hold Americans responsible. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, yeah. it feels like it's just a matter of time at this point. But mm -hmm. hopefully, we can get to a point where maybe we avoid an actual World War Three. I hope so. Maybe. I'm not cut out for war, guys. I'm not. Like. We're I'm too old. Tired We're too old to go. And stressed out. Like, <laughs> I have anxiety. I have major anxiety. I'm not cut out for it. I think we're too old for I it. I don't really know how to shoot a gun. I mean, I've shot a gun, but I don't really know how. Like, I'm, like, I have a healthy fear of guns. 
I know how to shoot. I just. Um, I feel like I'm probably too old to be like drafted, though. Oh, yeah, we are. Maybe. We're too. I don't know. We're too. Is there we're an age old. limit? Yes, we're too old. <laughs> they don't want me, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, we we are uh, we are beyond be above the uh, age limit there. Yeah. Mm. From from the past, anyway. I well, don't know. They might they might change it. <laughs> there's supposed to be another debate. There's yeah, I think we got. Like I think there's. I think there's two more before. The... Yeah. Well, they, there's at least one more I know of, but there was two for sure, and one. So there's at least one more. I mean, unless they end up canceling it, I don't know. If I want to say, do you think though that if they are going to change out, like to switch out their candidate, the Democrats? Do you think they would do it before the next debate? So I would that they hope could put so. Put a different candidate up to debate. I would hope so because I would like to know what we're gonna be expect. You know, I would like to know a little bit more about them. You know, like well, listen like, to them debate Trump, please. <laughs> you know, you know who Gavin Newsom is, right? You know who I've, his aunt is. No, Nancy Pelosi. Oh, Gavin Newsom is Nancy Pelosi's nephew. Okay. That's why California mm. is so terrible. Uh, so I really hope that's not who they choose because I don't think they're going to be winning with that candidate. Mm -mm. California, for like the first time, I want to say, I don't know, I want to say I looked it up maybe last year or something, but they, like, I think it was last year, they had more people leave than actually move yeah, to California. Yeah, they came to Texas. Like the first time in a long time. They all moved to Texas. Well, yeah, and if Texas... <laughs> If Texas stays on the trajectory that it was going on, Texas is going to surpass people in population soon, like in the next couple of years. I believe it. So, yeah. <clears throat> Can't uh, blame them. I love you know, Texas. But it's going to be... <laughs> but you come it's to gonna Texas, be interesting. your politics in California. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens between now and November. I mean, I remember what 2020 was like, so... But I don't know. It's just it's a different vibe now than 2020. So I don't know. Oh, I don't know it, it is. It is. It's a, it's a, a I don't know. Difference. I feel like I've lost faith in our elections, though. And like, I think to myself, like, there's no freaking way Biden can win. But at the same time, I'm like, but if if I'm not saying they did, but if they did manipulate results in the last election what's to say they won't do it again i was and then watching. i think like damn like i'm gonna vote anyway but like I keep uh, that thought is like nagging at me in the back of my head i was worried watch i was watching the, like the day after the debate i started watching the, some this guy who was going around asking people you know what they thought about the debate and everything or how that they think that this is gonna play out and everything well there's one woman yeah. who said that that she feels like all Biden did, you know, like he he wasn't in his right mind and everything, and she hates that. And then he, the guy asked her, goes, well, who are you going to be voting for? And she goes, if I can't vote for Biden, I'm not voting. And I think that is the wrong attitude. Like, you, you if you don't agree with your, with your, oh, and yeah, this was a different one. But she, I was like, if you can't agree with your, who you're, who who you're who you usually vote for? Then why not look into the other party and see if maybe they are offering something that fits your fits you? Just because you were born and yeah, raised well, a Democrat I mean, doesn't mean you have to vote a Democrat. It, like Carol's a perfect example. No, of that. She's, well, it's she's learning to to find some other things. You know. Yeah, I think that some people are just like they they have gotten an idea of who Trump is as a person and they let their feelings about who he is uh, or what he stands for morally uh, as like like problematic. And so they don't want to vote for him because they feel like that's voting or like, I, I don't know, admitting to liking them, saying they like him or, you know, whatever the case may be. But for some reason, like... It's just it might go against where they feel like their morals are and i can respect that um and so i could understand not wanting to vote because you really feel like you're voting for just like something that goes against what you stand for but if but people should be aware like they should do their own research they should really look into some stuff because i came to the conclusions i came to by doing that by watching whole interviews and speeches and that kind of stuff to like see what was left out and like as you can see like 
people, you know, because I watched that entire debate, so I know exactly what was left out of those highlights. And I could see mm-hmm. where they were trying to make Mine one or the better. other look a certain way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But even then, like, it, it's obvious, even with that highlight, it's obvious how out of it Biden is. And so, like, I could never in good conscience for myself vote for him because the dude is just not there, right? Like, so if Trump is my only option and I know he has proven he can run an economy and, like, build this shit back up and get us in a back to a better place so whoever takes over the next time can hopefully build upon that, that's the direction I have to go because I it, it's not just about how I feel about him as a person. I know he can get results and that's what's best for everyone. Right. It's not just about how I feel about certain things. Like, I have to look at the overall picture, and that's what I look at. The overall picture is Trump has proven himself to be able to improve the economy, get unemployment down, build up low-income places. He's pro-choice when it comes to school, like, or uh, for school choice. Um, You know, he's about giving, like, smaller government, lower taxes, wealth for everyone. And that's the misconception, is I think people think that Trump is, like, you know, he, he, like donated his presidential salary every year he was president. A lot of people don't know that. Mm-hmm. And actually take he uh, he's the only president that when uh, that left the White House with less money than he went in with. Everybody else leaves richer, he left poor. Right. So it's not just about the money. Like he, I really do feel like he cares about the country. He's just sometimes he says shit that I'm like But that was the thing unnecessary. Is, is Trump's always been but that he, way. <laughs> He was that way before was he was been... running the country. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't but, care for uh, him as a person ever. You know, I would say this. He's very consistent. <laughs> yeah, he is. Very consistent with his uh, with his personality. Although I thought he was very... Like, he held back more than he normally would have, I feel like, in this particular debate. And I think because he is taking it very seriously. And I think he knew that he needed to yes. come off as more col- calm and collected... In order to reach people with actually what he was saying. He slipped up here and there with some things. I was like, again. But it was not nearly didn't as have bad to as say it like that. The last the no. last four year, four years ago when he did it. So it was nowhere yeah. near that surface. He does have an air an air of arrogance about him, but I think that comes with anybody who's lived a very wealthy lifestyle for so long. You're just used to people kissing your ass all the time. Mm-hmm. Right? Like he's never not had anybody kiss his ass because he's always been rich. His family was rich. You know, he's the epitome of generational wealth, really. So, but I do feel like he really is for the people, so. Carol, you're being awfully quiet over there. Any any input? Yeah. Have you, yeah, have you had any shift in, in the, like, what you've seen so far at all? Or, like, the information you're getting that helped, like, uh, give you clarity <laughs> at all? I think. So, I think that I'm st- I'm not, there's no more clarity. I'm, it's almost like I'm more confused, if that makes any sense. Not just because of the debate, but I feel yeah. more confused because I'm confused as to why it would even be okay to allow this man to even run for president of the United States. Like that really confuses yeah. me because I wholeheartedly like have concerns for his mental well being, right? right? So, um, because I, I voted Biden the first, but I, I voted Biden, right? Because I absolutely, to the core, hate Donald Trump. So <clears throat> it's really hard for me. I really want to hope that the Democratic Party will decide that um, it is time to replace who that candidate would be. Um, at that yeah. point, though, who that candidate would be how does that even work, right? I, I'm trying. My husband and I yeah. just had this conversation, trying to educate myself because technically Biden can step down right now yeah. as president. Yeah. From what I've heard and seen, um, it, it seems like he's pretty dead set. Oh, on he's dead set on it. Being the course, so he, w- he wants you know, that. Eight, he wants that time. Eight years. Well, you know, and he only has a couple months left. If I really look, you know what I mean? Like he's got like what five months For real, left. right? But, <laughs> but we need somebody else to be voting in though, right? He has no business yeah. for like a second term. Like that's what I can't get on board with. That is what, where it's going to lose yeah. me. So, I mean, even um, though, 
CNN does say he has a cold, but has he had a cold for the whole four years? Because, like, that's how he, that's his mannerism through this whole pregnancy, <laughs> presidency. That wasn't. That, I mean, even like, but a cold, that, a cold doesn't really like fuck with your mind like that, though. Yeah, you know I, mean? I know. Like, that's straight up no, old age. It doesn't. Like the voice, the whispery voice. Yeah, okay, sure. He had a sore throat. I get it. Like that's cool, but that still doesn't excuse the lack of performance in the debate. Like it's obvious the dude is not who he used to be. So, well, here it, my... it was really hard to I watch at some took... point. It was. I took care of my dad who had dementia. Okay, I'm very familiar the old saying, when you look into their eyes, the lights are on, no one is home. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, and you have a bad recall. Um, you cannot think quick on your feet at all. You cannot make spontaneous decisions. You cannot make, you know, uh, uh, any financial decisions. If you're not lucid, you have no business mm -hmm making any decisions regarding the country for which I live and you are not lucid. It is clear to me he is not lucid. And so yeah. um, that is definitely something that has to be evaluated. Like uh, I, I almost feel like the American people need to stand up and the fight right now needs to be is we want a different candidate. Those of us that usually vote blue should be putting our foot down, not not showing support yeah we should be saying hell no you know because right. i'm usually a, a a blue voter so you know i i want to put my foot down and say no you give me somebody else because this ain't it yeah. this right. ain't it i agree with you yeah 100 percent. and like i'm not like i when i i really it's so funny because like there's there's a lot of my friends that would consider me far right which is so funny because i'm so like literally in the middle i feel like there's nobody truly represents me um but uh but i would i would definitely vote for a democrat if the right democrat came along you know what i mean someone that represented how i felt the best and had the best plan for the best outcome for america but so far, the Democrats can't produce anybody like that. So, until they can, you well, know, my theory it's like, is, and stuck with my, a bad hand. My theory <laughs> is that there's there's a higher the up, there's, there's a higher up, there's an elite club that has a big hand in what they want for America. A hundred percent. Like they've, uh, you know, it's funny because Tom had actually, I was, when I was looking for material for my channel, I came across this video I, that I forgot Tom had posted and it was about, uh, this new world order. And they, um, they had put a, one of those like info things on his fact thing that said new world order was like a fact check, you know, like this, this is a, a conspiracy theory or whatever. And then it cuts all these politicians doing these speeches saying, you know, have it like, there's going to be a new world order, like dating, like going way far back and then like moving forward. And I was just like, oh, mm -hmm. uh, but so, I mean, that, that shit to me is like crazy, you know, cause it's almost like, it's like a little bit of cognitive dissonance. Like, I can see the evidence in front of my face, but my brain doesn't want to believe it because to me that that's like shit in that's exist in movies. That's not real life. What are you talking about? Right. Mm -hmm. But the, I, I don't know, like these days, nothing seems really that outrageous anymore. That's a scary thought. It is. But, I mean, I can go on and on about uh, my thoughts on and go into like a big, conspiracy theory talk yeah. right now on all this but and the thing is is i don't even think it's conspiracy theory anymore i think a lot of it's been actually proven to be facts but a lot of it has like a lot of it has you know or it's just like because people said that uh you know like trump getting elected there was like russian interference and then that that whole dossier thing like that was completely faked like the they right. have proof that it was faked and hillary clinton was behind it which, you know, I mean, all's fair in love and war, I guess. But, uh, and the reason you know, why but they, then, they like, don't... It, all the things that's been debunked, all the lies mm -hmm. that have been debunked over time, I mean... Well, and the reason why the media know? and everything, in my opinion, that are on 
that that are against Trump so much is because it has nothing to do with him being a liar or anything. It's because they want you to believe a different agenda to match theirs. Yep. So you will vote their way. It's 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 called being brainwashed. So yeah. Well, and it's like I don't know. Sometimes I feel like we're just like puppets on the string, and there's a puppet. You know, yes. There's puppet masters above that are just. I think of the system. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like we're little marionette dolls, and we're just playing to the tune that they want us to. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like it also makes me think of uh, me versus you, like that song. Like literally, they're just as long as we're yelling at each other and not getting along with each other, they are free to do whatever they want because we're so distracted with hating each other and being mad about everything and offended by everything that nothing is getting done. Like. How many people actually tuned into that debate, you think? Like, in the nation. How many people actually gave a shit? You know, people are going to vote based uh, on a lot of people did. color. It might be red, blue, black, white, br- person of color, some type of ethnicity or religion. It's like, somebody is going to vote based on a biases regardless. So it's like, I don't even know if at the end of the day it even fucking matters anymore. Like, it's broken, I don't know if it can be fixed. Yep. Hang on, I wanted to show you something. I wanted to pull something up. and This is where you put in the dun-dun-dun <laughs> music. You know what I mean? Like the, the... To be continued. Ah. Hang on a minute. But... <laughs> oh, man. Because, look, that's oh, what we this? were talking about. That's what we were talking about. The system. The strings. Oh, yeah. Little marionettes. Yeah. Little marionettes. That's what that Welcome reminds to me the of. system. Everyone's a victim. <laughs> Leave it to us to find it a, a way to turn it into Tom. <laughs> Tom, Tom time. All the time. Well, we're talking about politics. That's a, it, it's easy because he does have the best political songs. <laughs> this is true. He is my favorite political rapper. My all time he artist. He's my favorite political rapper, but he's also my oh, no, favorite it's... rapper when he's not rapping politically either. Honestly, he's probably my favorite human in the whole world. Like, yes, that one. Favorite That's human. <laughs> and look like, at him. Look yeah. at that blonde hair. He does. He looks. He looks nice with Dude, the, the long. Dude, he is. Hair. He is rocking that Fabio hair so hard in that picture. <laughs> like, I think he was even like. I bet he was like squeezing his muscles to try and look as buff as possible. Uh, I can see it. Like, hurry, Nova, take the picture. <laughs> I'm straining here. <laughs> can't hold us any longer! <laughs> Somebody's Alright, oh, guys. That's, well, that's okay. 100% how it happened. <laughs> yeah. <That's, laughs> someone's gonna clip that. I, I guess, uh, well, I guess we should leave it to to next time, guys, but uh, if there's any particular, like, topics um, regarding even the debate that you would like us to look into... Um, or any topics that were dealing with the country um, that you think that we should look into, um, give me, give us your opinions down in the comments. Should the Democratic Party be replacing Joe Biden? Like, that's a legit question. Leave that down in the comments. What do you think? Oh. So, and thought for the day. And out of everyone, yeah, who should you, who should they be, re, he would be, Lacey said it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what she said. So <laughs> leave that down in the comments for us. And I will see you in the next one. 